the beauty of the morning, the sunrise, the skies, and the sun, and the sea, and the glory of the moon, the beauty, the beauty. Oh, such great peace just to walk with the Lord, to talk with the Lord, just to walk in His presence, in His glory. Just to tell Him, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a new day. Thank you for a new and refreshing day. Thank you for a new morning. Thank you for a new life. Thank you for life on this morning, life everlasting. Hallelujah. God is so faithful. God is so faithful. God is so true. God is just amazing. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. God wants us to be prepared. He wants us to be prepared. He's soon to return. He's soon to return. He's soon to return. We heard it over and over and over and we took it for a joke. But the signs are before us. <clears throat> and as we look at the signs daily, I pray that Everyone would look at the signs and say, God, I see your works. I see your hands. I know that it is you that is doing what you're doing in the earth. I know that it is you, hallelujah, that is doing what you're doing in the nation. I know that you are real. You are true. I know that it is you, God, that is calling your people back to you. It is your grace and your mercy. It is your faithful love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is you, God. Take a moment just to, just want to take a moment just to sit here for a moment. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. God is so faithful. He wants for us to know that he is soon to return. We've heard it over and over again. He's gracious in his timing. He's gracious in his, in everything that he does. He is faithful. He is patient. <clears throat> He is loving and he's kind and he's generous towards us. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. I want to just let you know on this morning that the Lord is soon to return. You said it over and over, but God is going to do something great in the earth. He's going to, he's doing something great in the earth. I don't know if you notice it, but everywhere you look, there is the signs of the Lord, the works of the Lord, the hands of the Lord is moving, the the uh, word of the Lord is being fulfilled in the earth. And God wants for us to take a moment just to sit in his presence and to know that he is God. He's giving us an opportunity once again to say, God, we can do nothing without you. God, we need you. Hallelujah, Jesus. There are things that are happening in the earth that is not to be taken lightly. God wants us to realize that he is God for so long. And still yet, even today, man is saying that it is man, it is scientists that are doing what is happening in the earth. But God says he will have no other gods before him. He said none will take his glory from him. None could ever be compared to the works in the hands of the Lord and the things that God does. So... As we see things happening daily, 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 the scriptures for unfolding, there are eruptions of volcanoes, there are eruptions of uh, tsunamis uh, in the earth, there is earthquakes, there is fire that is cannot be contained, that cannot be extinguished and put out. God is showing us that the times are before us. There will be greater, 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 greater destruction that is coming to the earth. Uh, God is going to do so much things in this earth. I pray that the nation gets ready gets prepared not just prepare your homes like you do when it's time for a hurricane or when the storm is coming or there is a catastrophe that is approaching the nation but God wants us to prepare our home our heavenly homes our homes from on high where are we gonna spend eternity what is our destination looking like who are we committed to how is our life in the presence of the Lord where are we going to when we die the most important question is where will you spend eternity it is not about what you wear and how you dress and what name brands that you have on and what things that you acquire here on earth it is not about the amount of money 
glory in your bank accounts. It is not about that. It is about salvation. It is about the walk with the Lord. So God is calling us to walk with him. God is calling us faithfully to seek his face, faithfully to do his work, faithfully to live according to his word, faithfully to keep his laws and his commandments, but more importantly, to serve him with your whole heart, not in partiality, but in completeness, in holiness, in truth, in righteousness, in purity, just upright in his word. So on this morning, glory be to God. I just thank you, Father. Thank you. God just said you're going to do so many things in this earth. And as God is about to do things in this earth, glory, I pray that your hearts are ready. I pray that your souls are ready. I pray that your families be prepared. I pray that your minds and your, and your desires be God's desires. I pray that you would accept Christ into your life and walk with the Lord. Just as heaven is real, hell is real. Hell is real, heaven is real. The earth is real. We can look at it. We stand on it. We see it. The breeze we feel, we realize it's real. The stars is real. We see them at nighttime. The sun is real. It shines and it's there faithfully. This is the faithful love of our Father. So on today, take a decision. Make a decision. Make a declaration. Take a stand. Stand for Jesus. If you do nothing, else stand for Jesus stand for holiness stand for righteousness accept the Lord while you have a chance while there is an opportunity the Lord said to me about two and a half three weeks ago in my studies and in my quiet time he said there is greater sorrow that is coming upon the earth Ah, we think that coronavirus is here. We think that destruction is facing us east, west, north, and south throughout the earth. But he said his spirit is going through and through the earth. He said there is great destruction that is coming upon the earth. It is nothing now that we see. What we see is a glimpse of what is to come. So I'm encouraging you while you have an opportunity glory hallelujah while you have an opportunity to accept the lord and to receive him and you have an opportunity say father forgive me oh finally father forgive me turn away from your sins don't let the enemy deceive you but god is saying i'm coming soon prepare many are dying and i know that many have already passed away and we have all experienced loved one loss and we have all experienced somebody died and somebody is passing away and somebody is sick and somebody's in a hospital and things are happening but i want you to know that god is still faithful in his love Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's still, a, he's still a God that gives us an opportunity over and over and over. Hallelujah. God says he's given us an opportunity because he's the faithful father. Even in the midst of sickness, you still lie on your bed and you can say, Father, forgive me for my sins. You can have an opportunity right on your sickness, in your sickness, right while you still have breath and you have the opportunity. Doesn't matter the state that you're in. You're in right capacity in your mind. And if you are, I pray that you would accept the Lord because his love is gracious. Even on the cross, Jesus said to the thief, I am still amazed at this. Even unto death, he stayed up on the cross. But even on the cross, he said to the thief, welcome into my paradise because he believed. I pray that you believe on today. Hallelujah. I pray that you believe on today the word of the Lord. I pray that you believe his word and I pray that you accept him because the opportunity is once again extended to God's people. He's telling us over and over, I'm giving you an opportunity. I'm going to remind you. I'm going to send warnings after warnings. He said to Ezekiel, I'm sending you out again. Don't look at the people. Don't look at what they're saying. But God is sending a word and a warning over and over. Open your eyes and look at what's happening in the world open your eyes you see many people are saying the same thing the spirit of the Lord will trouble his people but God says in Ezekiel he says I'm gonna tie you down so you don't tell the people after a certain point of time he says you will not be able to tell the people anymore I'm gonna have to strain you and tie you down so that you won't move so God is sending his warning so heed to the warning and the word while you have an opportunity to because there is coming a time that we will not be here to tell you that Christ is soon to return. It's going to be too late and you might not be with the Lord. 
So glory be to God. So my prayer on this morning is, Father, let them see you. Let them know you. Let them realize that you are love. Let them walk in your word. Let them trust you. Let them believe your word. Let them call on the name of Jesus and be saved. Let them be delivered on this morning. Let the nation cry out and say, God, I need you. Father, I'm tired of doing it my own way. I'm tired of doing it by myself. I'm tired of trusting in my own things, in my own ways. But God, on today, I give it all unto you. Every burden, every care, every every situation we give it unto the Lord. So give it unto the Lord on today and allow the Lord to come into your life. So have your way in my life. Tell him, have your way in my life, Jesus. God, I need you in my life. I am lost without you. Glory. Hallelujah. So God, we thank you on today. Hallelujah. I pray that you be blessed on today. I pray that you take heed. I pray that you open your eyes and your spiritual eyes. I pray that you open your air, your spiritual air. I pray that you open your spirit and receive what the Lord is saying on today. He is soon to return. You're going to see great things are happening in the earth. A few days ago, the Lord said to me, dropped in my spirit, this is going to be one of the worst winter seasons that we're going to be faced with. Hallelujah. You're going to see snow that is coming in abundance. You're going to see things that are happening in the earth. You're going to know that God is God. He said, the whole world will know that I am God and I am God alone all by myself. The things what God is about to do that he's doing right now, man cannot take the credit for it. But you're going to see this is going to be one of the worst, the worst winters that is coming up. So prepare your hearts, prepare your homes, prepare your storage and your foods prepare because God is saying it's gonna get rough and is it gonna get rough yes it's gonna get rough the word will be fulfilled there is nothing new under the sun so glory be to God so prepare your heart it's not the afraid to make you afraid but it's God is telling us prepare while we have an opportunity so my prayer on this morning is that the nation be prepared that the nation be prepared, that the nation be prepared to receive Jesus, that the nation accept the Father, that the nation walk with the Lord and trust the Lord, that the nation would surrender their will and their heart to the Lord. Be blessed on today and receive the Lord while you have an opportunity. Make sure that your families are well with the Lord, your communities, your churches. Make sure that your cities and your states are well with the Lord. Not just you for yourself, you and your entire household. Make sure that you're able to enter in to the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So, Father, we thank you. Continue to prepare a nation. Continue to do a work in this earth. Continue to show forth your hands. Continue to show forth your love. Continue to do, oh God, miraculous things that only you can do, Jesus. Let man know that you are God. Hallelujah. You are God all by yourself and you need no assistance. So, thank you, Father. Be blessed.